Hi, this is Moser with a quick review of co-dominance and incomplete dominance. You should have already had this material somewhere in middle school, but just in case, we're going to give you a little refresher. After this video, you should be able to define co-dominance and incomplete dominance and predict genotype and phenotype ratios for monohybrid crosses of co-dominant traits or incompletely dominant traits. You should already know what a Punnett square is, and you should already, already be aware of genotype and phenotype and be able to figure those for normal Mendelian um, traits. Well, as you know, co means together. Imagine co-captains of some sort of team. They're sharing the responsibilities of captain. They're captains together. Well, co-dominant traits show up together. Neither is dominant. They're both dominant. So in a situation with a co-dominant trait, if both alleles are present, both actually show up. They're not blended in any way, so you'll get stripes or spots or splashes of color because both show up and they're not blended. These alleles are shown with two different capital letters. It's kind of crazy, I know. Um, in this case, looking at these petunias here, we'd probably use an R and a W for the red and the white parents. Can you guess what the genotype of the offspring would be? Well, I think you'll be able to after our example. Flower color in petunias is co-dominant. You've probably seen petunias. They're pretty common in flower beds and hanging baskets. So what if we took a purple petunia and crossed it with a white petunia? What genotype and phenotype ratios would we expect to see in the plants that were produced from the seeds of that? In other words, their offspring. Well, first, let's make sure we know what the genotypes of the parents are. The purple petunia would be capital P, capital P, and the white petunia would be capital W, capital W. We know that because since flower color is co-dominant, in order for a flower to appear a single color, it has to be homozygous for that color. Okay, so let's set up our Punnett square. Well, we've got our purple and our white cross, and the first thing we notice is that our genotype ratio is 0 to 4 to 0. As always, with two homozygous parents, the genotypes for every single offspring are the same. And in this case, what we have are four PW genotypes. What does that mean in terms of phenotype? Well, it means we don't have any purple babies, and we don't have any white babies. What we do have are purple and white offspring. And that, my friends, is how you get these beautiful flowers. You can probably buy some for a hanging basket this very spring. Okay, well, what about incomplete dominance? Incomplete means not full or not finished. And when a trait has two incompletely dominant alleles, neither allele can fully dominate the other. So what we see is a blend of characteristics. This is really common in impatience, the flowers pictured here, along with another type of flower which we'll talk about in a moment. Just like with codominance, the alleles for an incompletely dominant trait are shown with two different capital letters. In the case of these petunias, we would use R and W. Flower color in snapdragons is also incompletely dominant. So if you crossed a red snapdragon with a white snapdragon, what ratio of genotypes and phenotypes would you expect to see in the offspring? Well, first we have to figure out the genotypes of the parents. And just like with the petunias, since these things don't have a um, dominant recessive relationship, in order for a flower to be one of the, the known regular colors, it would have to be homozygous for that color. Now, you kind of have to be a snapdragon breeder to know all that, but this is the kind of information you're typically given in the problem. So let's set up our Punnett square. And we've got our big R, big R crossing W, W. And we get a genotype ratio again of 0 to 4 to 0, where all the offspring would have this R, W genotype. Well, what does that mean? Since snapdragons are incompletely dominant, we don't see individual splashes of red and white. Instead, we see a blend of those characteristics. So we get pink flowers, and they'd all be pink. That is how you get that beautiful pink snapdragon. 
Okay, let's quickly sum up. If offspring of two very different parents end up showing characteristics of each parent with no blending, that is a co-dominant trait. That's what we see in petunias. If the if two very different parents produce an offspring that has a blending of their traits, that's incomplete dominance. Okay, that's the review. Look over the website, do the example problems, and keep moving.